Erickson. I am with uh, the Art Institute here in San Antonio. Um, so what I focused mainly on when it came to your project was your kitchen. Uh, when you first came into your home, I noticed it was very clo closed in. You had a very long hallway. Uh, with that, I took down the wall, both on the left and the right to the bedroom, uh, opened up that first bedroom and made it sort of a more of a drop-in location for when you come back from your trips. Uh, as well as just a small office space to be able to sit down and put together your projects along with a wall that kind of negates the visual effect of seeing into the bathroom but also keeps that structural that you need to be able to keep your walls up. Mm -hmm. To your left right away you're going to see the dining room. It's an open concept into the kitchen which is a straight kitchen uh, with an island uh, and an open bar uh, type scenario. What that means is basically that the entire wall that uh, goes along the um, garage is going to have your stove, your refrigerator, and an additional sitting arrangement. There's also a door put next to your refrigerator which leads into the uh, storage room. That door was meant to become a pantry and an easy access into the garage because as you walk through, you're gonna walk straight through into the garage. Uh, allowing you for a very open, quick access if you decide to use your garage for your own uh, uh, rainy days. Uh, so you'll be able to go from the garage into the pantry, drop off any food items that you need, and then into the kitchen itself uh, right away and have space there to set down your groceries or your cold items while you put them into the refrigerator. That also allows you to see into the living room, which is now where your dining room is. It's a combination of the sunroom and dining room allowing for a very open environment of very well ability to uh, see your guests, uh, your guests to be able to sit at the bar um, in front of the sink where the island is so that way they can watch you cook if that's something you're interested in or if you have somebody over that is a chef that loves to have you know cook for you they can sit there and watch you can sit there and watch them or you they can watch you as well as you can see into the uh, space so that way you can entertain the hearth, uh, I left the fireplace um, with a different setup, which you'll see in my inspiration uh, board, but it also allows you to sit at that uh, bar and see into the fireplace, which gives it a really warming environment, um, which doesn't have to change. You don't have, a, you have more of a seating area for that fireplace rather than a standing area, which is really nice. Um, I left the door into the uh, laundry room because you had mentioned the electrical panel being hard to move. So instead of moving the door, I just created a larger opening to uh, access the laundry room. And I also still left the door going into the pantry from the laundry room as well because of the step down. It would be allowed to store additional items such as dog food or anything like that. You could put in the laundry room to feed the dogs uh, while you have them in that area or however you feed the dogs. I did enlarge your stairs uh, and brought them out farther to give it a better slope. Uh, whereas right now it's really steep. Um, so I angled it a little differently. I brought it up out a little bit farther because of the fact that I enlarged your living room. It allowed me to enlarge those stairs and give it a better uh, angle and a better seven by 10, 11 steps. Uh, so they're a lot safer to walk up. At the top of your stairs, um, I did put in a French door, which I didn't change on my floor plan. It's okay. Uh, a French door to kind of seclude that area as yours, uh, which gives you a long hallway into your bathroom uh, because I didn't move your bathroom or anything like that, uh, upstairs in your master area. Downstairs with your first bedroom and your second bedroom, because of the fact that you had such a enclosed bathroom, I took a lot of the walls out of your both bathrooms. I connected the one bathroom in the first bedroom or second bedroom and connected the closet to the bathroom to enlarge it and give you a walk-in shower in that bathroom. So they still have their own secluded bathroom. They still have their own closet because I took that wall uh, hall closet and converted it into a bedroom closet. Mm -hmm. uh, so they still have a nice size walk-in closet, but they have a decent sized bathroom mm -hmm. uh, for that bedroom. Now the second, the guest bathroom, I, there, there was a wall that separated your bathroom and the toilet. I took that wall out. Mm -hmm. I moved your toilet to be uh, in balance with the one behind it so the easy plumbing, easy change of everything so you don't have to spend a lot of money changing out the plumbing. Uh, all you have to do is just move the toilet 
or the shower or bathtub up against that outer wall, mm -hmm. allowing for more access to the room and enlarging the room and making it feel more comfortable for your guests. Uh, the only other changes that I really did was um, I added a storage closet where on the in that master bedroom. So the storage closet is inside the house in case there's something that you need to store that go on, goes into uh, the bedrooms or even like holiday stuff, Christmas trees, uh, Halloween decorations. It's a decent sized five by five room. So it's a good walk in space uh, to be able to store those stuff for you inside your home. Other than that, there's really nothing else changed in the home. Most of it was kept the same. Um, the challenges was, I wanted to start out with your kitchen being an L-shaped kitchen, but after doing the renderings and doing the uh, 2020 program that I used to do it, which you can see in the uh, drawings that I sent you, the L-shape would not work. It would actually cause you to have less storage space uh, the refrigerator takes up too much space, which by the way, with your appliances, I went with all LG um, and spec'd out LG appliances such as an LG refrigerator with touch screen so you can touch it and it allows you to see what's inside your fridge uh, so you don't have to open it. It makes it a lot easier for you to not waste energy by opening the fridge. Uh, LG stove, LG um, dishwasher. Now, I wasn't sure if you wanted an over-the-range microwave or a countertop microwave, and because of that, I went ahead and spec'd both uh, and gave you uh, either-or choice and rendered a hood, um, uh, over-the-hood uh, vent ventilation system rather than a microwave because I, when I put the microwave in, it didn't look as good as the hood did. So I really thought that would be a better choice rather than uh, putting a microwave there. Mm -hmm. I went with uh, reading uh, American Woodmark counter cabinets, which are reading style with linen color, so that's a white. The um, style of cabinet I went, or countertop, is actually quartz, known as Valentro, and it is Nimbus. Um, mm -hmm. It's a gray color, so it really contrasts and gives a good coloring with the white of the linen, which I don't see that to you. Uh, um, it really does contrast well with it. Uh, I put it together with the samples at my work and they blended well and didn't fight too much. The um, backsplash was going to be a white sub tile, uh, subway tile or some type of 4x4 four four tile, mm -hmm. uh, which I didn't get the sample of. That's okay. But then, let's see, so the challenge in the kitchen was what I really had fun with, so I focused a lot on it. Um, with that solution, I came out with the straight wall kitchen mm -hmm. uh, rather than the L-shaped kitchen. Um, and then is this a bar over here? Yeah, it's a, an additional bar allowing her to serve drinks or anything like that, mm -hmm. or if she's serving somebody, she can put food there yeah. and allow her to have food out uh, rather than it all being in the kitchen which is really nice and that's why I went with that idea of separating those two to instead of putting it all together and putting the door at the end right. I wanted to separate it so it made it feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, I really hope you like this design. My concept was the open space for luxury living uh, which I really love that idea of open space. I know that when we walked into your home it was very clustered, closed in and even though those walls were there that were structural, uh, putting a, ba a beam in and using the two supports, a, t a column uh, and a, uh, a accent wall when you come in, it allows you to continue to keep that structure and still keep an open concept, mm -hmm. and which is really nice because it opens up so much in the home just within the drawings and the renderings as you can see. Um, so my name is Terry Henriksen. I hope you enjoy my design for you if you choose it uh, be awesome and please do give me feedback i'd love hearing about it thank you and have a great day